So the biggest thing in related rates problems is just the setup. So here's our problem. One car goes 30 miles per hour east, another car goes north at 40 miles per hour, and after two hours, how fast is the distance changing between the two cars? So anytime you have an actual distance increasing or decreasing, you need a variable. And what I mean by that is, so if x, so since this is x because it goes east, if it starts here and it starts increasing, um, and its miles start increasing, meaning like if you start at 30 miles per hour, the actual distance in miles is increasing um, or decreasing, uh, you need to put a variable. So I'm going to say that's x. So here it starts from the center and then it starts going up. This distance is also increasing. Um, so I'm going to say that's y. And this one actually tells you that this distance between is actually changing. So that's going to be z. So after all this, we need to uh, list out everything we know. So we know that dx dt is 30. Now you might be tempted to put 30 as x, but the thing is, um, dx dt is miles per hour, whereas x is just in miles. So what does that mean? Well, it's just a matter of notation. x is equal to miles, right? And then dx dt is equal to miles per hour. The only difference between these two is that it's just the derivative of whatever this is. So it can be d, if this was y, it'd be dy. And then dt just means over time, derivative of time. So because here, right, it says miles per hour. So obviously it needs some time. We can't put miles per hour, we can't put miles per hour with x because it doesn't have this time component. But we can put it here because x can stand for miles. Um, that's it, so that's all it is. Um, so x is equal to miles. Uh, dx dt is uh, the units over time, well, whatever that may be. It can be miles, it can be kilometers per hour, um, as long as it's a unit over time. Now going back to the problem, we have um, dx dt is 30, dy dt is 40, and so we need to find x, y, and z to find dz dt, because we can't have four missing variables. So what in this problem could get us uh, these variables. So these are in miles. So all we have is miles per hour. So is there any other piece of information that can help us? Well, the two hours here seems interesting. Um, what can we do with two hours that can get us a physical mile? Not just miles per hour, a rate, but a actual, um, actual number of miles. So if you think about it, it's 30 miles per hour. That means 60 miles have elapsed. And then here, 40 miles per hour, that means they've gone 80 miles in two hours. So that's all I wrote here. Um, I wrote 30 times two hours is 60 miles. 40 times two hours is equal to 80 miles. So now we have two of these. We have x and y. But now we still need z and dz over dt. So what can we do with these two numbers? So if we look at it, um, x is 60 and y is 80. Wh uh, what do we have... Um, when it comes to solving triangles, that we can find z. Well, we we could do sine or cosine, but the, or tangent. But the thing is, um, uh, we don't have we don't have an angle, so we can't do that. But what we can do is pick a Pythagorean theorem because it's a because it's a right angle. So we go over here, and that's what I do: 60, 80, and that will be 100. So z will be 100. Okay, so now we have all of our information. We have x, y, and z, and uh, d, dx and dy, dt, and we're, we want to find dz over dt. So, once again, we need a formula to link all three variables, and that will be Pythagorean theorem, because nothing else will work. We don't have an angle to do cosine or sine. So, that's what I did. All I did was the Pythagorean theorem, and now, the thing is, why we take the derivative is so we can get this um, dx dt. Otherwise, how would we how would we solve for the change? Because these are just in miles. Um, it has to be over time to get that to be equivalent to miles per hour. So I'm going to take the derivative. So it'll be two x, and when you take the derivative of x, you get dx over dt. Same thing here, two y dy dt, and over here two z dz over dt. So if you ask, like, why do we get this? Where does this come from when you take the derivative of x? Well, every time you take a derivative, it's always there, actually. 
So if you take the derivative of x with respect to x, so it will be 2x, and you take the derivative of x, and it will be dx, so it will be the derivative, you write d, which stands for derivative, of whatever unit this was, of x, over dx. So we're, we're taking it with respect to x. So what does that mean? Anything divided by itself will be 1, so that cancels out, and all you're left with is 2x. Same thing if it was uh, y squared, it'd be 2y, and so it'd be dy, derivative of whatever that was, over dy. So once again, that would just, that would just cancel out. Thing is, if we said we wanted it um, with respect to time, uh, then what would happen is it has to be, it has to be over it. So if it's x squared, when we take the derivative, it'll be 2x, take the derivative of x, and it will be dx over what? Time, because um, it has to be dt. It has to be time because um, here it was with respect to x, so they just cancel out, but here we want time, so it doesn't cancel out. So now, since we've gone through that, we can continue. So here, all I did was, um, since I saw a 2 for each of these, I can just divide everything by 2, and you get this. So now, since we've taken our derivative, we can actually start plugging in. So that's what I do. Um, we just go back up here, and then look at what we have. So x equals 60, that's what I did, x is 60. Um, dx dt is 30, from, actually from the problem. Right, so it's 30. And then 80, 80 comes from uh, y. 80 comes here, 80 miles per hour. And 40 miles per hour comes from the problem, dy dt is 40. And then finally, z is 100. We found that from Pythagorean theorem, and we're solving for dz over dt. So if you solve this out, it will become 50 miles per hour. And that makes sense because it's over time. So it has to have the units of miles per hour. And then, um, yeah, always remember the units because they can count off for that. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.